Kendrick here, and I decided to bring you guys in on my creative creation story, as I like to call it. I just kind of wanted to go over a few things um, that were really in my heart about um, my passions, also about my uh, my creativity. Basically, I started from childhood. I'm going to talk a little bit about adulthood creativity, as well as some of my personal goals and my mission, different things like that for the channel. So stay tuned. I have more to share. kindergarten is when I really really discovered that I actually enjoyed the arts anything artistic and anything creative that pretty much was my niche uh, I also enjoyed uh, coloring and drawing just basically anything that I could get my hands on I would use it to make something paper uh, scissors a uh, yarn anything that I could think of. I had a very, very uh, wild imagination, very colorful, very vivid. Um, I remember just spending a lot of time asking my parents a lot of questions as well as my grandma. And I really just enjoyed um, just being my creative self. So I noticed that at a very young age that I was very creative. As an adult, I noticed that I was also still very creative and it actually didn't go anywhere. Actually being able to um, to become an adult and to be able to express myself, it actually made things a lot easier and I was actually able to express myself um, in a lot of different ways because sometimes as a child, you can't quite put into words everything that you want to do creatively. And then sometimes once you're to the age where you have your own money, you have your own resources, then you're able to kind of follow through with a lot of things that you may not would have been able to uh, follow through with as a child. So that's one of the reasons why um, I just started to incorporate a lot of different things that I enjoyed even from my childhood. I have a few journals, a few notes, a lot of things that I actually pull from and I kind of have uh, learned to make them better over time. So yes, because I was a person that kept a diary from a very young age, I'm able to pull from a lot of that and I incorporate that into a lot of things that I do. I just happened to tweak them. I didn't know at that time that I was going to be doing YouTube videos or anything like that because there wasn't any YouTube in the 80s. So now I'm able to use this platform as a way to um, articulate or to um, create a new platform for the little intricate inside that just wanted to come out and play but didn't quite know how to put things into words. So actually I enjoy doing what I do because I feel as though it helps me to connect to the little girl inside of me that just wanted to be creative, just wanted to express herself. She had a whole lot to say. She was in love with a lot of things. And I just really enjoy being an adult that is able to now um, give the little girl her do or pretty much just her voice so i thank you guys for watching my channel so much all of you you guys know i love you and i just wanted to just kind of just bring you guys and just let you know little things that i wanted to kind of do and this is just something a little different so i'm kind of feeling it today so i'm just really thankful and i'm grateful for that my channel mission well the mission of this channel as you guys know all the time i use it easy living for everyday people but i also wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about what my mission is because of the fact that i incorporate a lot of do-it-yourself a lot of recipes a lot of um hands-on type you know growing things uh, gardening uh different things like that I just wanted to be able to create a channel where very creative people, very artistic people, maybe people that haven't quite realized that they actually have that same um, connection or 
actually that same gift that I have. Some people really don't know that because a lot of times they, they won't try. And then once they actually try, then they really realize that it's something that they're actually good at. So I wanted to have this channel to kind of give beginners um, and also uh, people that may be uh, really, really advanced, you know, at, like myself with uh, just being in touch with your creative side um, and just really... You know, just doing something different. You know, thinking outside of the box. I think sometimes that's that's something that we really don't do a lot of is just expressing ourselves. You know, we can get so caught up in the norm and what everybody else is doing. And that's one of the things that I'm really working on in my personal life is to create a life for myself where I do things that show my personal expressions and not and I'm not so always caught up into having to look like everybody else or having to wear what everybody else wear or say what everybody else is saying. So I may create my own words, you know, like you guys know I love really really that's like one of my where I repeat things, you know, over and over the same word. That's actually something that I started doing actually like in middle school. I began to realize that I was very different and I really wasn't one that was really good at following uh, other people. I've always been a leader. I was born a leader. So that's one of the things that has actually helped me with creating my channel and becoming the person that I am is because I recognize the leadership qualities that I have and I pull from those. And that way I'm able to pull you guys in and you guys can see that I'm also a leader and that that particular leadership that I have will cause you to uh, ignite your own personal leadership or to make you think more about you know doing things your own way you know you don't always have to do everything even me you don't have to do everything that I do the same way you can take a recipe tweak it a little bit and make it your own you can take a DIY idea you can tweak it a little bit and you can make it your own however you want to do it it's all up to you so I just wanted to go a little bit over my mission so just remember yes it's easy living for everyday people you are everyday people even though you're a very different person but still you know just keeping it simple. My goal. Okay, so really, what's the goal of this YouTube channel as well as my business and everything else that I do? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I'm going to start to show you guys a little bit more about what I do. I have all different types of things that I'm into, but we'll get into that later on. I'm going to start to incorporate more of that so you guys can learn more about my skincare line and a lot of other things that I actually do. Okay, so back to this mission thing. Let's talk about that a little bit. So, not mission. I meant to say my goal. Yeah, my goal. Yeah. So, my goal, of course, for YouTube, you know, I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy what I do. But, of course, I want to increase my subscribers. And I also want to um, network a little bit more. I also want to uh, get to know more people. I want to market myself even more because I am my personal brand. And Jacob Bryant, hi. So I want to do a little bit more marketing, a little bit more networking um, in the upcoming new year. So those are some of my goals to get my subscriber base up to um, increase my networking abilities and also work on my marketing. So that's another thing. Even though I'm a very, very talkative person, I'm also a very intuitive person. So I have a tendency, and that's something else that I'm working on, and I'm going to share this with you guys. Something else I'm working on. Because I'm a person, when I first meet people, I take a minute to kind of analyze them. So I've learned that that's great. It's good to analyze people. But a lot of times when you're networking and you're trying to meet new people, you can't always focus so much on trying to figure out, well, hmm, I wonder what this person is like. Sometimes you really just can't do that. You just have to introduce yourself, uh, go into uh, what, you're, what, what you're trying to do, uh, what you're trying to accomplish, what's your goal, kind of get it out there, you know, and be very cordial with people, be very nice to people, just, you know, say what you need to say, and then just leave it at that. You know, you don't always have to take all this time trying to figure people out, oh, they're mean or are they nice or are they sweet you know you can't really do that marketing so that's one of the things that I'm really trying to work on my personal personality because I am very intuitive so I'm trying to work on just kind of separating that when it comes to networking and marketing so yeah 
So if you're out there and you're trying to do a little networking too and you're interested in networking with Andrew Cabrian, just hit me up. Um, you can check my description box below. It has all of my information. You can email me. You can check out my website, uh, my Twitter, my Facebook, uh, my Instagram. All that's located below. So pretty much... That's all I just wanted to say, guys. Just wanted to come in and do something. Like I said before, you guys know I like to say the same things over and over. Just wanted to do a little something different. Bring you guys in. Uh, do something a little bit more up close and personal about myself. And I just wanted to share. And I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Um, I look forward to my upcoming videos that are... Uh, you know, just going to be full of ideas and a lot of new adventures, uh, as well as some uh, surprises for my DIYers and my followers. So, as you guys know, I love you very much. XOXO.